big Ron man. Oh yeah. You can pick a bit of bark off. Apparently not I. One thing I really enjoy about this car is having a good Stezza or stereo. In the Silver Dildo, my Subaru Outback, the stairs was not great at all. I only had radio. The speakers, if you turn it up, volume level 10, big vibration noise, not so good. So we're gonna do a stereo test for you at home. We've got on volume level 32. Are you ready? Not bad, Ryan. What do you reckon? Welcome back. It is actually not day two of the road trip. It is day four. Day two and three, myself and Ryan, who's holding the camera right now, we fished the dam for Barramundi. Day two. Didn't look at it. Good morning and welcome to day three. And it appears that the Barramundi were all frozen and did not want to be caught. So we've skipped from day one to day four and we're on the road again. Myself and Ryan, we're heading to a place that I've never been before. Um, and you're gonna see it real soon. But in the meantime, I wanted to mention something I haven't mentioned yet. This thing that we're driving in right now, this is a brand new Isuzu MUX. The guys from Isuzu, the guys from Isuzu Ute Oz were kind enough, after a little bit of heckling on my part, to give us a car for this trip, and hopefully for future trips as well, but we'll see how this trip goes. If we can come up with enough good footage, maybe they'll be more inclined. But yeah, they were kind enough to give us this car for this trip. Brand new, I picked it up. It had 100 kilometers on the odometer. Now it has 1,824. So we're racking up the Ks. And what do you reckon of the car, Ryan? It's amazing. There's two DVD players in here, which is pretty rad. Um, I think technical stuff, as far as I can remember, six-speed automatic gearbox, obviously four-wheel drive, three-ton towing. Uh, what else? Leather interior, as you can see, and very comfortable. I don't know if Ryan's that comfortable right now, though, because he's got 10 fishing rods resting on his head. But yeah, it's super cool for me. Obviously, like, on a personal level, it's a pretty big achievement for me in my whole thing that I'm doing to get recognition from, like, a big company like Isuzu. So for me, when I got off the phone to them, I was, like, basically nearly started crying this pumping the air, frothing out of my mind. So, um, really cool. Thanks heaps, guys. And um, hopefully this trip, we can make it all happen. We can sell, use a million more Azuzus. Anyway, back to the trip. A little sidetrack there with the car background, but we're going to Lucinda. We're gonna be staying with the guys from Lucinda Fishing Lodge. It's obviously windy at the moment, 20, 25 knots. So, myself and Ryan, we're gonna go hit the creeks. We're gonna try and catch Barra, Jacks. We're gonna try and catch anything really because after day two and three of the trip, we need to catch something. And then if the wind drops enough, we're gonna try and go out the front, and try and find some GTs and Queenies and whatever we can find. Welcome to Lucinda and the Hinchinbrook channel. Like I said, yes they are, I've never been here before. This is first for me and there's a lot to get your head around. There's hundreds and hundreds of little creek systems, massive river systems, stuff everywhere you don't even know where to start fishing so this morning myself and ryan were just casting deep into the snags here ryan's doinked himself a nice codly already no mondays yet someone's got to catch the barrows no brim here man right yeah right <laughs> since arnie left the gold coast he moved recently left us all he's been catching is brim since he moved up here he's in the barramundi paradise paradise all he's been catching is brim 
soon as we turn up, take him to a zone, show him how to catch him, what does he do? What do you got? How many casts did that take? 84,000. <laughs> hey, on the board, mate. He's about as big as Anthony was. Oh yeah. Grunter. Not a barra though. Yep. Micro Mundy. This is could be Ryan. The world's smallest barra Mundy. Anthony was bigger. Wow. That's a fish tank barrier if I've ever seen one, mate. Look at him. Oh, 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 no spiky. He's cute, man. Look at that. Micro Henchy Mundy. Hopefully they get bigger than this, Ryan. You can only go up from there, I think. You'd hope so. Well, that's the first barra ever in a SCB as well. Okay. Whole 20 centimetres of it. But it's a start. Jesus. It's very strange. Oh, still got him. What is this? Flatty! You're kidding me! Flatty dog. I think this was the world's fastest flathead. I actually thought I'd drop him. Did you see him fly at the boat? Yeah. Probably four meters this one. Is that what we've come to on this show, channel thing? Filming flathead. Used to catch big fish. You know what I mean? And now we're catching Farrah this big and flathead and grunter. Brooksy, hey, Ryan. All day, can't catch anything. Out the front of the lodge, literally, what, 100 metres away? <laughs> Jack, that Monday. Are you kidding? That's not a bad one either, Ryan. Look at that. Fish on the Goldie for what? Six months for a Jack? Got four? Hinch and Brook first day. Let's give him a measure, eh? You wanna give him a measure? Mm -hmm. 30 centimetres? 35. 40, mate! Not bad. That'll do. We come and fish this spot. Literally, the lodge is over there. We can see our road. Ryan came and fished here when? A few long, years ago? Long time ago. Just across here, and he was catching jacks and topwater barra. So we thought we'd come for a quick little cast. I got one snag and one jack. That's sick, I'm stoked. That's made me day, Ryan. Right, see you, dude. Little Jimmy, go on. Hey. Yes. Ryan, the day's kind of saved a little bit at the last minute. Are you kidding? <laughs> We've had the worst day of fishing you could ever imagine. Winter, cold water, raining, windy, one 20 centimetre barra, Arnie catching barra after barra behind us, and we just can't catch anything. Missed a couple of good fish. Yeah, we did miss a few, but... That's made it a little bit better. If we can get a couple more just now before dark and then go have dinner at the pub. By the way, we've got Arnie with us tonight, staying. But he snores really bad, so we're trying to get him another room. <laughs> um, how many do you get? Barra. Barra, five barra. Five barra, how many Jack? Two Jack. Two Jack, five barra, and Cod. And a grunter. And missed many more opportunities. Did you get any flattered? No flattered. We got flattered. Brooksy, one small barra, one Jack. One grunter, one flathead. It's obviously dark now, but just out there is where I caught that 
last fish that Jack just had there. And this is our room. It's our rigging zone. This is our front door. Arnold watching TV. Kicking back. Brooksy's king bed. Ryan, Arnie, kitchen. And you know what I just noticed? Can't get away from the prick. What? Sammy Hitsky. Oh. <laughs> You're kidding. Put it down. Hey. <laughs> Hey, brim or snapper? Oh, they look kind of, brim. yeah, nice brim. Were you worried that I was going to explode today, Ryan? Always worried that Johnny's going to explode. Why? <laughs> Very short fuse. <laughs> oh, no. Nearly ruined. Oh, my God. There we go. Do we spook them all already? Am I in real life? <laughs> you wait. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> what <was> that? <laughs> I'm so pretty, I'm so pretty and witty and gay. Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another day in the very far north tropical Queensland zone. This morning we're doing something a little bit different. Um, obviously for this trip the guys from Isuzu Australia gave us the MUX. So we're going to put it through a paces and we decided what better way to do that than to go somewhere really cool like this. And fish for some jungle perch, sooty grunter, and obviously we're going to drive through this river. There's a few more we're going to go. We're going bush basically. That's what we're doing. Yeah, hopefully we can find some fish. Water temperature, Ryan? Very cold. Freezing. Touch it. No. All right, a few crumbs. Gonna have to give the old girl a bit of a clean. Okay. Windows down, we're gonna put it in four wheel drive, mate. I think that's how you do it. All righty, I'm actually a bit nervous. I don't think I've ever driven through a creek before. Oh, okay, here we go, in the water. Go, Brooksy. Oh, she's deep, man. Pretty deep. Hey, mate. Give him a pat. It bites me. Give him a pat, man. All right, see you later. I don't know if we're going to make it back up here. I don't know anything about four-wheel driving, man, but that looks pretty steep. Just have to hit it with a bit of speed. I think this is like our zone, our fishing zone anyway. But I really want to drive down this, like, schmozzle. Oh, my God, bro. Hey. I think we got another, another crossing. I can't see anything. Another crossing up here somewhere. Are you scared? I can't see. Don't go too close to this side. Oh, very muddy up here, Ryan. What do you think? No comment. Do you think no? Seriously? If you're worried, you probably should be worried.
You look pretty worried. Oh, I'm worried. I've just never done this sort of shit before, so I don't know if it's... Is that bad? Yeah. You think it's a bad idea? Yeah. Okay. I'll listen to you. A little sideways wriggle, all right. Bad. You ready? Yep. I think they both went up here. Oh man. So dog. So dog. Is he burying his head in the ground? There's a bigger one there, man. I'm gonna just. Oh. Alrighty. Creek number one. Two good sooties hooked. Two good sooties dropped. We decided to turn around because there's a bigger river. One of the, the first one we crossed looked a bit bigger. Might have some deeper pools. So we're gonna go give that a go. Just getting hot now and very steamy. Pretty good option when it's blowing its tits off at Lucinda. So 20 k's away and you can be doing this and there's no one so not bad at all forgot about this pretty good yeah too bloody easy mate right no worries um do we want to go up that creek yeah Did you get bopped then? Jungle perch. Oh. Was it? That was a jungle perch, sorry. Johnny. Okay. So. So. Is it holding on to it? It'll sort. We're on the border, on. We go. After losing two, that would probably triple his size in the last creek. First pool in this creek, they seem pretty. Grabbed up. Baby soup. That's sick, eh? Very so, aggressive. Very spiky, though. Hopefully, they only get bigger than that, though. Cold. See, that's. Wow, it looks so incredible, man. Uh, under that log there, brought along the log. It's a pretty good example of good fishing sunnies. Here, the water's like crystal, crystal, crystal clear. Clearest water you've ever seen. Massive logs everywhere. I'll give you a look with no sunnies. You can see, but still pretty glary. Look at that. See everything. You kidding me, Ryan? That right there, big line type of tree. Big photo edit for thumbnail sent to Izuzu. That's how you get it done. We don't actually catch fish at all. It's all trees, rocks, and then fishing cast there most of the time. Look at that band there. Arms. Will you pop this thing off? Yeah. Slow little sesh, mate. We saw a few fish. Spew and I dropped those first two, but what can you do? We've got a bail now. We've got to get back to the lodge, get in the boat, and get out there for the low tide barren nib, hopefully. Might get to do this again at some stage, try and get some sooties and stuff. Sick little mission. Beautiful, beautiful little zone. 
it's not that many fish. Ryan, one little Jimmy, whatever it was, Brooksy, one sort. 